need to tell you all that there's a climate emergency. I don't need to tell you that it is crucial that what we are doing now have an effect to safeguard the livability of our planet. We have signed up for Paris agreements, we have signed, the Labour Party are saying that they'll reduce um, emissions by 50% by 2030. There's the Paris agreements to get down 25% of the 2000 and blah, blah, blah. Transport emissions are a major, are a major um, uh, contributor to our, our emissions in Australia and they are going up. Electricity emissions are beginning to plateau because of all the renewables that are coming online. Yay, renewables! However, transport emissions are going up. And unless they... And an interesting thing, did you know that the amount of energy emissions to make your car are actually going to be more than you will ever run it unless you ride drive it continuously nearly. So the mere fact that you own a car is your biggest contributor to emissions. I, my family live in West Coburg. We live in an area that was subdivided and planned in the 20s and the 30s. Our modes of transport are one train, two trams, four bicycles and one car. We, as a family of four, can have one car because we live in an area that has got good public transport. If we lived out here, we would need two or three public, uh, three cars to get to work and uni and blah, blah, blah. That would triple our transport emissions and that is why we need decent public transport so that families like mine don't have to buy into a huge carbon footprint for our planet, we can, just because somebody else has done the thought of it, use sustainable transport, and which is public transport, when they get the trains going onto electricity that's done, that's generated by renewable sources, even better. But it's the planning that has gone into that suburb that has means that I can actually live a much lower carbon footprint than if I was living out here. And that, that shouldn't be a burden on the people out here. The prices of owning cars, running cars, these people are lean locked into a carbon dependent lifestyle, a money dependent they made wage slaves for their transport costs and it's just not right, it's just not fair. Um, so we need to duplicate the upfield line now so that for a sustainable moorland. Yay! Thank you so much. Absolutely. You know, a well-planned public transport system is planning for an environmentally friendly future, just as Pauline has said.